Ruski Ed here, and this lesson is about four very similar plant families which are sometimes confused. Stay tuned for more on this topic, but in the meantime, please inspect the vocabulary list while the intro song plays. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian you would like to know, the Ruski Ed is the place to go. The four families which are the focus of this lesson are Cyperaceae, also known as the Sedge family, or Asokovaya, or Semestva Asokovui in Russian. Junkasiae, otherwise known as the Rush family, or Sitnikovaya, or Semestva Rush in Russian. Typhaceae, commonly referred to as the Cattail family, or Ragozavaya, or Semesva Ragoza in Russian. And Poaceae, which is usually called the grass family, or Mjatlakavaya, or Zlaki, Zlakavaya, or Semestva Trav in Russian. So now let's talk a little about each of these families. Sedges are members of the Carex genus, which is unsurprisingly included in the Sedge family. And four members of this family are listed in the Red Book. Ahsoka de Vila, Ahsoka Tienavaya, Mietz Trava Abwik Navenia, and Acheretnik Buri. Generally speaking, it is true to say, U Ahsoki Yest Kraya, which means sedges have edges. Moving on, it should be noted that only one member of the Rush family appears in the Red Book, and that is Sitnik Uzlavati. Oddly enough, there are no members of the Cattail family listed in the Red Book. This is probably because the Red Book lists rare and endangered plants, and cattails tend to be rather hardy, if not invasive. As for the grass family, there are many members of the family listed in the Red Book. In fact, there are too many to include in this lesson. Vazmozhnev Drugoy Raz, which means perhaps another time. Additionally, it's worth noting that Semestva Trav Vekluchayet Sebya Takia Rastenia Kak Peshenitsa Roj Adios Ris Kukuruza Yachmian Prosa Bambuk E Saharni Trasnik which means the grass family includes plants such as wheat, rye, oats, rice, corn, barley, millet, bamboo, and sugarcane. Getting back to the concept of very similar plants which are sometimes confused, very often it is the case that Kamwisha Chasta Ashibachna Nazavayut Drugia Rastenia Chasnasti Ragoz E Trasnik, which means reeds are often erroneously referred to as other plants in particular, cattails and cane. In fact, here is such an example in the form of a poem. Vidish ya jivov duche, ftishinya ya bukva sha, which means, you see, I live in the soul, in silence, I am the letter sha. By the way, duche, if the stress is on the last syllable, means in the soul. And if the stress is on the first syllable, it means in the shower. Continuing on with the poem, we have Grebeshok moi niti sushit samwi shokavi balos, which means my comb dries the threads of the most silky hair. Ya peskom shurshu na sushi, gitze sa volnoyu shepchet plos, which means I rustle the sand on dry land where the wave whispers. And now for the last two lines. Tam gitze better da kamwish, ya lish tam gitze leotia tish. Which means, where there is wind and reeds, I'm only where the silence pours. As you can see, the illustration shows cattails. But the poem only mentions reeds. And so, by way of correction, we get, Et ne kamwish et ragoz. Which means, it's not a reed, it's a cattail. By the way, if you repeat kamwish, kamwish several times, it starts to sound like you're saying mishka, which is the diminutive form of mwish, which means mouse. Also worth mentioning is that Menogia Ludi Zamatili Sto Ragozi Buigladyat Kak Korn Doggy, which means many people have observed that cattails look like 
corn dogs. And now for a quick joke, which in English goes like this. My wife wanted me to cut the grass, but I couldn't get myself motivated. Of course, motivated sounds like the word motivated. And with that in mind, the following translation into Russian would work. Моя жена хотела, чтобы я подстриг траву, но я не мог заставить себя это сделать. However, in Russian there is no pun, and so the joke is a failure. But that's how it goes most of the time when a pun is translated from one language to another. A pun in Russian goes like this. Моя жена попросила меня покосить траву, а ей расшил окосить which means my wife wanted me to cut the grass, but I decided to get out of that. In this case, the play on words appears in Russian, but not in the translation to English with kasits trabu, meaning to mow the grass, pakasits trabu, also meaning to mow the grass, but for a period of time, and atkasits, meaning to get out of something or to avoid something. And that's it for this lesson. Your support is very much appreciated. Ruskiad, signing out now. Das Vidanya.